how to connect Shopify with Aliexpress. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I will be showing you how you can import products from a platform like Aliexpress where you can get started with your dropshipping suppliers and you can add these products directly into your Shopify store without having to do this manually and you know it could take hours and hours to import products manually. You can do it in a very functional manner using this plugin. So let's get into it. Now, the plugin that we will be using is Deezus. Now, Deezus is a tool that allows you to get started with dropshipping using their platform. It's available for free if you take a look at their pricing for Shopify, the free version. It allows you to import upwards of 3,000 products and then you have the free stores limit as well. But it basically allows you to do the basic functionality for free and you can easily manage all of your orders and track them from here as well. So to get started, all you have to do is go on to your Shopify dashboard. Then you're going to click on your settings on the bottom left. Once you click on settings, you just want to go into your apps and sales channels over here. And once you are in your apps and sales channels, you want to click on Shopify app store on the top right. Once you click on that, a new tab will appear. This is the Shopify app store. And from here, you just want to search for Deezus. Now, once you have searched for Deezus, you will find the application over here. It has a five star rating. It's called Deezus AliExpress Dropshipping. And you just want to open it up. Then you're just going to click on add application. And it's super easy if you create your account on Deezus before you add the application. But even once you add the application and you create your account later on, it's still fine. You're just going to click on install application over here. Once you do that, you can click on register yourself. And it's just going to register and create your Deezus account. All you need to do is provide an email address and a password. I have previously created an account, so I'm just logging in. And the sign up process is just as simple as the login process. Uh, it's very, uh, you know, basic. You just have to do an email verification. Once you have completed that, you're just going to click on your top over here, which where it says all stores, and you're going to link your Shopify store. You can even click on the bottom left over here, click on link to more stores, and then you can link it to any other store that you have. Uh, it has automatically linked to our uh, you know, uh, Shopify store. So once we have completed this, you can see our store has now been added. Now we can browse all the products that we want. So basically we're getting AliExpress inside the Deezus platform and we can start adding products. So let's say that I'm just going to go back into my Shopify dashboard. I'm going to update this, making sure it's connected. I'm going to click on link to more stores, open app. So you guys can see in my settings section over here, I see my stores and then we have our store that has been connected. So I'm just going to re-enter into my dashboard and it's a lot easier to manage your uh, applications. If you go into your settings, go into apps and sales channels and you will be able to see this. You can open them up from here. And then you can manage all the information from here as well. But I'm just opening up the platform and I'm just going to browse the different products. So now that I have added, you know, Deezus, I can import any product I want. So let's say I like this product, but I'm not sure of the price. Maybe I find that it might be slightly more expensive. So once you click on an item, it actually opens up the AliExpress listing for that item and you will get all the AliExpress dashboard items that you usually would get. So from here, you can even compare them to other AliExpress products. You can find that specific product that you are looking for. So let's say I go into the clothing section, apparel section. So we have hoodies and sweatshirts over here. And we have a bunch of different items, so let's say I like this one, but I think maybe it's a little overpriced or I'm not sure about it. I can just open it up over here. And once I have opened it up, I can go on ahead and see the compared, you know, the related product or the recommended product on the right side of my screen and do a quick comparison of the prices. So once you have found products that you like, let's say I like this hoodie. Then you have these two icons that appear over every product once you hover your mouse. You have add to import list or 
supplier optimizer click on supplier optimizer you can optimize the specific product so you can find that specific product in multiple different listings obviously you're going to see the different price comparisons you can do like a very nice analysis of where you're going to be able to find the lowest price and the uh, total sales created by that supplier the ratings and you can find the supplier that is best for you so for me it is the supplier and what i'm going to do now is I'm just going to click on add to import list and you guys can see this has now been added to my import list now once I have this added to my import list I can go on ahead and click on edit product on the bottom left once I click on edit product I can change how the listing will appear so such a long title on my own website I just want to call it galaxy hoodie and then you have the variants let's say i don't want to uh, add the xxl sizes so i can go on ahead and delete those as well so i'm going to scroll down and i can just click on delete like so or i can do you know bulk selections as well like so and then i can move to the top and i can click on over here remove skus and then it will delete all of those variants like so. Once you've done all the filterings of sizes and colors that you want to provide, you can edit the description as well and the shipping info, all of that. And once you do that, you're just going to save it. And once you have, you know, created the listing, how you want it to look on your Shopify store, you're simply going to click on push to Shopify and it has a automatic pricing rule if you want to use that. Or if you want to, uh, you know, add it directly into, uh, you know, you want to add your own custom prices, you can uncheck this and add your own custom price however you want to price it. But I like to use the pricing tool and click on push to Shopify. We're just going to push to Shopify. It has some errors right now for some reason, but we can always do it again like so so in this way you can add product onto your shopify store from aliexpress it's rather simple and easy currently for some reason there are some errors at the import list but they usually do get resolved it could be a tiny little bug or something so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to follow along with these methods and techniques that i showed in this video and if you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like. And if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any social platform, then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below. And I will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our YouTube channel. I want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms and if you have any details that you might want to know any suggestions any improvements that you think that i could add on to these videos then please do leave them in the comment box down below and i will make future videos according to those and if you have any specific topics that you look forward to also leave those in the comment box down below and I will try to make videos on those as well and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing I will try to figure out a way to an uh, integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video